You don't know how many people come up to me and ask me crypto to buy. All right, I'm going to tell you today. Good morning, good evening, good afternoon, wherever you are, whatever you are. Thank you for watching my videos. My name is Dimitri Jeremy. I'm in the pipe 5x5 five five here in Dubai. We're going to be talking about, well, what crypto to buy? And also the China unban of Bitcoin. We're going to be talking about that in today's episode. Yeah, so make sure you watch all the way to the end because we're also going to be doing some trading on bybit.davinciej15.com or 2bit.davinciej15.com. Links are in the description below. And let's get to it. Uh, before we do, actually, you know what? Um, last call for the uh, meetup. Meetup.davinciej15.com. Uh, you could join my meetup, uh, which is on Sunday uh, this weekend. So make sure you do exactly that. Join the meetup. Okay, before I get to which coins to buy, right? Solana meme coin frenzy raises questions about crypto utility reputation. Okay, the Solana meme coin frenzy has seen several tokens rise to multi-million dollar market capitalization within days. The Solana blockchain is currently outperforming rival Ethereum, Avalanche, and BNB. In terms of network activity, growth, adoption, all thanks to the meme coin frenzy that has taken crypto markets by storm. Over the past month, Solana's blockchain has seen a, the launch of thousands of new meme coins with billions of dollars in traded volume. Several new meme coins made headlines and rose to new market highs within days, while others grabbed headlines for rugging users or even racism. Okay, whatever. Meme coins are digital uh, currencies that derive their name from internet memes and have no particular applications outside of being a pop culture reference. These cryptocurrencies are often backed by strong online community. Okay, if you don't get meme horns, I understand. It don't make no sense, but let me explain it to you. One, it is like a lotto ticket for most people, right? You know, um, everybody's asking me, which coin to buy that's going to go a thousand X? And that's why people buy meme coins. They also buy meme coins because as a child, well, growing up a long time ago, you would take a bunch of things in, in, in the play school and then plan to pretend to play with money, right? You'd use these tokens or whatever things as money, right? Whether it be Legos or whatever. So it's the same thing. Now you can do that as adult on a blockchain. You can create a whole bunch of, of assets and tokens and treat it as money and play with it as money. And so and now, and, and win the lottery if everybody starts to buy it. So moving to the tokens that I suggest you buy. Here, Brett, meme coin, right? No guarantees from the management, but I, I think Brett's going to do well. And also medieval empires. This thing goes to a billion dollar market cap since it's a very good game and I play it all the time, every day. I would see, foresee this thing doing extremely well, right? Anything can happen, but that is the coins I would suggest you buy. Okay, moving on. MicroStrategies leads uh, crypto sector losses with 2 billion hit since March. Okay. This is in the, the description below, but let's read uh, this uh, over here. Short sellers betting against MicroStrategies take $2 billion hit since March, right? Short sellers betting against MicroStrategies loss have lost $2 billion since March. According to the data from S3 Partners, highlighting the hit from a rally that has helped the stock outperform Bitcoin. Okay, so just so you know, Michael Saylor only got into Bitcoin he only got into Bitcoin because people were short selling his stock way back when in 2020 after the, the COVID dump. And he's like, WTF, my company is strong. Why are you shorting my company? We have lots of money. We're making lots of money. We see a future that's bright for us. And they said, the short seller said, as they were dumping his stock, it's because your cash flow is going to lose value over the next three years. It's going to be cut in half. He's like, what? What? Fur? <laughs> That's impossible. 
And they explain that the central bank is printing 25% more money every year from now on. He's like, oh, I see, said the blind man to the deaf dog. I got to do something about it and found Bitcoin. He found Jesus. It's called Bitcoin. <laughs> All right. They are desperate. Leak reveal a huge China ETF game changer could be about to hit the Bitcoin price and crypto market. Yeah. Uh, so according, according to the news here, uh, China is unbanning Bitcoin for some reason. I don't know. Maybe just in Hong Kong. Chinese investors, I return to crypto with Hong Kong poised for po poised to approve a Bitcoin ETF. Well, I don't know if this is going to happen. Um, let's see. Right, it's supposed to uh, occur in May. Wait a minute. So hang on. As soon as April fifteenth. Jesus, I heard May. But anyways, let's see. If that happens, that would be that would be great. Bitcoin's going to pump heavily probably into that that rally. So let's see what happens. And let's take a look at the, the charts on Bitcoin right now. If you're interested in trading, you can head over to bybit.davinciej15.com, 2bit.davinciej15.com, or even coinw.davinciej15.com. Links are in the description below. Oh, Bitcoin has taken off. Missed this W here. Where we go? Boom. Target right around the $2,000 mark, right back to after this this massive dump here, this brutal dump that just like, okay, it was a takeoff, but we're going to screw all your people. And then now we're going to take off again. We're going to take off this time. Is it going to take off this time? Probably. Yeah, this was just a fake out, right? And and we're probably this time going to take off. It's going to probably might do something brutal. It might do like, a, yeah, screw you one more time and break below the uh, 69.5. So, be ready for that. Um, don't uh, leverage yourself too much uh, because, you know, uh, the, 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 um, the, the big money is in this and they can move the price around very, very easily. So uh, keep that in mind. Okay. Moving on to Ethereum to close it off, right? Uh, Ethereum looks like it's creating its W, just beginning to be with the creator's W. So you have some time to get into Ethereum and see if take it obviously to to its um, to its target, which is uh, if we take that to here, we can see that that's gonna take us right at just above this yellow line, which is the the thirty seven hundred. So we could get over to thirty eight fifty. So this target right here is this area is a target, which makes sense because there's some resistance here. So as it broke down, so that is the target for um, Ethereum. All right, so good luck, guys. Uh, it's going to be a bumpy ride always, as always. And uh, Bitcoin, Ethereum, you know, um, they're going a lot higher. So if you just buy and save and hold, uh, you'll be all right. You don't have to worry about it. These are the assets of the future. They're the safest ones. You can listen to my advice and buy uh, Medieval Empires or um, Brett Token. But those things are high risk. Or if you want to take the low risk and just wait which is the proper thing to do, buy these assets such as Bitcoin and Ethereum and wait. That's what you should do, but you're not going to do it. So go buy your buy your, your meme coins <laughs> and good luck. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time. Cheers.